Uh, I know that you've done research on this period and on New York City uh, history, and you know, I'm curious, uh, when you were uh, starting out as a historian and a researcher, uh, as a woman researcher, did you feel uh, welcome in the archives when you were doing uh, your research? I definitely did not feel welcome in the archives when I was doing my research. Back in the 1960s, when I was researching a doctoral dissertation, it was very difficult for women historians to be taken seriously. And I look back now on my own experience and laugh, but I was doing the bulk of my research at that point at YIVO, which is a Jewish research institution then located on East 86th Street. And uh, I had a very difficult time uh, getting hold of materials. So the story that I like to tell is of going into the archives and I'm, you know, looking for these, you know, quite difficult to find, but I had finally located them, Yiddish language materials. And my Yiddish was pretty good then. I'd spent some time studying it and I asked for a collection of documents, a file folder, and I was given one document. And then when I finished reading that document, it was taken away and I was given one more document. And that went on for several days until I finally exploded and said, couldn't this be done a little bit faster? And out of the underground chamber came the archivist, uh, shouldn't call him a little old man, but he was a little old man uh, and he looked me uh, up and down and he said, Medela, you have Zitzfleisch, <laughs> which means basically little girl or young girl, you, you've shown that you can stick it out. <laughs> and after that I got documents, but it took me a while to prove that I was worthy of getting them.